Hello guys, it is Mega J Quaza here, here with another Hobby Master model. Um, this is my fifth Hobby Master aircraft, but only the second that I've got on here on YouTube. Um, I've got to tell you guys, this one was a bit of an impulse buy. I don't really know much about this aircraft type or what it was in service for, but I'll try my best to, to explain. Uh, this is a Northrop T-38 Talon. Um, a U it was a US Air Force trainer, still is at the moment in the C variant. Um, this aircraft is operated by NASA as a chase plane, and this is how the aircraft would look in 1982. Uh, it was based out of New Mexico, and it was used as a part of the mission for Space Shuttle Columbia. So, um, again, with Hobby Master, you can have the aircraft wheels up or down. I will show that in this video because I know in the F-35 video some of you wanted to see it with the wheels down. You see in here, with this one instead of the slot up version which was on the F-35 you've got this sort of cradle that's on the top here. So that is just able to pop out like so. You can also fit something in there for if you want it on the ground. It does come here with a pod. I'm not entirely sure what this pod is for, but do correct me in the comments if you do know. Uh, T-38, very successful fighter, well, trainer, really. This is one of the basic trainers that the US Air Force fighter pilots would have. Probably the first jet they'd get into. Um, it's a beautiful colour scheme with the white with the blue cheat line. See there, the registration on this aircraft is N923NA. You see that? Oh, the iPad's actually getting all this detail instead of being a potato. Um, <laughs> yeah, two-seater, you see there, you can see all the cockpit. I haven't opened up the cockpit yet because I want to keep it looking flush. See on the front there, you've got that probe, which is actually pretty brightly painted. And then you've got some sort of extension on the front there. You've got the two engine intakes on the side of the airframe. It has two engines. Came off. It is a little bit loose that, so you do have to be careful if you do intend on purchasing this model. That little pod at the front can be a bit loose. So what I was going to do is show you how to take the wheels off. So it, most models come with this extension here. Now this came off of one of my other models, which is what I'm going to have to show, which is a Super Hornet, which I would like to show you soon. Um, but all you have to do, it might take some effort, but there's a little section on the end here. And you just pull that into the wheel socket. You see there's a little gap for it there, and you pull it out. Like that. Okay, that probably wasn't the best method of doing it, but see it just pops out just like that and then on the T-38 and the F-5s the undercarriage is all one piece so all that does is slot in bear in mind you can't show this aircraft on the stand if you have the undercarriage just down so it's the front there as well so all you have to do is just plug that front gap there and you have an aircraft sitting on its wheels within about 34 seconds you see there. It is a very nice model. Let's see if I zoom in a little bit. Have a look at the detail there. Um, yep, yeah, undercarriage, pretty good detail on this aircraft. Same with the F thirty five, really, and the Super Hornet. Hobby Master do make some very nice models. I definitely recommend getting this. This one was about thirty pounds, so it was actually really cheap for a Hobby Master. Well, for in the UK anyway, because Hobby Masters generally go from about £60 to 120 depending on the aircraft type. Uh, the most expensive probably being the F-111 Aardvark. Um, a friend of mine has the F-111, so that's well how I know, really. But yeah, so what I'll do is I'll put this aircraft back with the gear up. So it's simple just to take them off. I'll just put them back in like so. I prefer to have my well, Hobby Master models anyway with the wheels up just to have that option because most of my um, plastic models and, and the 
airliner models, they are um, fixed wheels down, so it's nice to have them with the wheels up for a change. So this is a pretty quick video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, and actually, before we um, go ahead with that, have a look at the box as well. So this is your standard Hobby Master box. It says Northrop T-38 NASA. It says T-38 Talon Chase Plane. The code for it is HA5401 if you were looking to purchase this exact model. So on the inside, you see there's no arm armament with this aircraft. You got the open canopies there with pilots, and the, it's where the undercarriage would be, and of course, where the aircraft would be. You got some more details on the T-38 here. So if you want to pause that and have a look at it, be my guest. Actually, it just looks like they got a pair of J-85 engines. One of the first supersonic trainers, I believe. So that was the Hobby Master 172nd scale T-38A Talon, operated by NASA in 1982. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Please do like and subscribe. I hope to do some more soon. I've got currently a F-A-18F Super Hornet and a Lockheed TF-104G Starfighter left to show you. And I've got one on pre-order as well, which is a Hellenic Air Force F-16 in the Zeus colour scheme, which looked fantastic. So hopefully that will make an appearance in the next few months, because they tend to take a few months for the Hobby Master models to come through. So once again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.